right, welcome into Gaming with Derek. Uh, this week, joining me on the stream, I've got uh, Monsters Forward Trey Fitzwilanski, uh, currently 24 points on the season, 10 goals and 14 assists for him. Trey, how are you doing today? <clears throat> Doing very good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Doing well. We're going to play a little NHL 20, obviously, playing your sport. And uh, you told me before we started the stream, you're you're obviously going to play with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh... Yeah, got to keep <laughs> it uh, in the organization. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to go with the New York Rangers. Uh, most of the time when I'm doing these streams, I go with the New York squad minus football. So I'm going to go with the Rangers. I grew up as a Ranger fan. Um, obviously they won the Stanley Cup in 94, I was about 13, so this is what we're going to do. And fair warning, this could be an interesting game because both of us haven't played in NHL as much, at least that's what you've told me. I play occasionally, uh, I've been slacking because I've been playing a lot of MLB. So how are you on the sticks in this one? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty ladies, uh, <laughs> lately, so um, <laughs> no, might not be too, too good in NHL today. All right. Well, this should be interesting. I believe I'm going to try to. I think we're playing 10 minute periods. If you're cool with that. Yeah, um, perfect. So I believe that's where it's at. So, and I think we're all pro or something like that. We're playing on. So, yeah. Uh, it should be should be interesting. All right. Let's uh let's hop into this. <clears throat> All right. Oh, look at the purple jerseys. Look at that. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, let's go a little longer. Let's go 10. That should be good. All-star. All right. For those of you guys watching on Facebook, uh, you can comment or ask questions uh, as part of this stream. Again, Trey Fitzwilanski from the Cleveland Monsters is joining me uh, for this stream this week. Uh, should be a good one. <clears throat> Trey, I'm actually having some TV issues for a second real quick. So before we start this game, I'm going to see if I can get my picture back on my TV. Technical difficulties are over here on my end. I don't know what's right, going on. <laughs> so let's pause this here. Just pause it? Yeah, I pause it. I mean, I can see it on my computer. I lost it on the TV for some reason. So let's hang on there. Brenda Hunt on Facebook says hello. Thanks for joining us, Brenda. <clears throat> All right, there we go. I got it. Nice. I got it. All right, you won the draw. All right. Sounds good. All right, so uh, just let's start, Trey, by just talking about... Uh, oh, just, almost one <laughs> quick. Almost. Uh, how'd you get into hockey? Obviously, you grew up in Edmonton and... You know, that's the stereotype being in Canada that everybody grows up on skates. But how'd you get into it? Um, it was actually my dad. And uh, he would just take me to the outdoor rink. And um, I was two years old. He would throw throw a puck on the ice, get me in my little skates, and tell me to go chase after it. And, um, <laughs> so that's how I kind of learned how to skate. And then obviously growing up, being from Edmonton, um, just watching a lot of hockey and um, kind of fell in love with the game at a young age. And... Haven't stopped loving the game ever since. Uh, oh, nice. The wrong button. See, we, ta we talked about this earlier, my issue with uh, way too many penalties in this game. And, of course, <laughs> I start with one and you get a penalty. Yeah. You get a, you <laughs> get a penalty quick. shot. I'm not a penalty shot guy. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm a traditionalist when it comes to uh, my goalie play here is I'm not going to pass much with my goalie. We're just going to yeah. cover it up. <laughs> I like to play fast. So. <laughs> oh. 
so um the the number 64 how'd you land with yeah. six, how'd you land with that um they actually just gave it to me at camp and i uh didn't really have another option to choose so right. um yeah i just stuck with it and um maybe one day if i make it in the NHL, then I'll change it to something that I like a little bit more, but for right now, I think 64 is what I'm going to stick with. So if you had to pick a number, what, what did you wear growing up, or, or what, what would you prefer? Uh, in junior, I wore 27, and um, had a lot of success with that number. I really like that number. Um, I've always been a fan of not numbers in the 90s, right. though, so um, I might choose something, something there. Gotcha. See, as a Ranger fan, I would just say 27. So you went with Alexei Kovalev. Uh, Kovalev was a good player, actually. So. <laughs> yeah. He was in the league forever, yeah, too, forever. which was <laughs> just crazy. Uh, oh. So you're in the... Oh, bad turnover. Nah, I return the favor. So you're in the the Blue Jackets farm system, and obviously, oh, you almost. Dang. Oh, I did turn it. Um, Come on, Peeker. <laughs> you're in the Blue Jackets farm system, and they had a nice little run last year, a deep run into the postseason. Just uh, you know, talk about what it's like being so close to getting to that next level, but also seeing them succeed and and, and what they've been able to do over the last couple of years. Um. Yeah, obviously their success last year was huge. Um, it was something that the city needed, I think, and um, the players really needed. And, uh -huh. um, you know, they proved that they can um, win against any team, and that's what they did in the first round there. So, um, you know, I think it shows again this year the guys that have gone up to Columbus from um, Cleveland, they, they've been playing well up there, and mm. um, I think it's a credit to what nah. the, the guys down here do, and um, you know, the pro progression that the, the players make in the AHL before they go to the NHL. Right. Uh, and one of the more recent guys, Stefan Mateau, just getting the call up from you guys. What's it like seeing the guys that you play with get called up, and what's that like in the in the locker room? Um, obviously there's a lot of change, which is, uh, tough for our team sometimes, but all oh, beauty goal. Top shelf. Um, but you, like, you love to see them going up there and having success and, um, you see the work that they put in every day and you, you know that you have to put in that same work if you're gonna, if you're gonna want to, um, play at that next level and succeed at that next level. Yeah. Um, this is your first full season with the Monsters, so your rookie season, you got called up last year and you, you got some, uh some um playoff experience with the monsters and, and the ahl just just talk yeah. about how how your first season's going this year uh it started a little bit slow um and i know that but um you know i dealt with a little bit of an injury and i think after the injury it took a little bit of time to get back into it mm -hmm. but um i went home at christmas and um spent a good amount of time with family and um came back a little bit refreshed and I think it shows in my game I'm having a lot more success lately and oh, um, having a lot more success lately and Ugh. I just feel a lot better on the ice and um, yeah I think it's uh, been, been a very good year for me so far right overall here's the hardest part of uh, playing NHL it's so fast paced that like it takes some focus, yet we're doing an interview. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a little downtime. Um, one of the things you guys are doing uh, a lot, the Monsters are, and, and you're doing it again tomorrow, is you've got a lot of promotional nights. And tomorrow yeah. may be one of the cooler ones in terms of uh, getting the, the younger kids involved. And it's a uh, good pass in the middle. Close. And... Um, it's the WWE night, and you guys uh, came up with some really good avatars, whoever put these together in the organization. But um, just talk about the promotion and, and talk about your avatar, too. Yeah, um, my avatar's name is Trey Fists Wolanski. Um, <laughs> Which is great. My name is 
Trey Fix Wolanski, so they put the fist in there instead of the fix. Um, and yeah, it's it's a really good avatar. I think um, you know having these promotional nights, it's uh, nice to have the whole city kind of try and get involved. And um, there is a big following in the WWE here from from what I know. So um, I think tomorrow night there's going to be a big showing, and um, the crowd's going to be rocking, and there's going to be. Um, a lot of kids there, hopefully. Talk about talk about the fan base. I've been to a couple games, and, and it can get a little rowdy there. Just, you know, um, sometimes hockey has a knock for having a particular fan base and not being one of those four major sports anymore. Ugh. But just talk about the, the team's fan base. Uh, yeah, they love hockey. Um, you know, even when we're not doing too well, they're still out there supporting, and... Um, and then I think, obviously, um, they love their old-time hockey. I think whenever there's a hit thrown or there's a fight, they're always going crazy. And um, it, it gives a lot of energy to the players, and um, we kind of feed off that and um, use that to our advantage. Um, a little side note, get away from hockey for a little bit. Um, if you didn't play hockey... What sport would you play? Would you play uh, another golfer. sport? You'd be a golfer. Yeah, yeah. I would play if I wasn't a hockey player. I would for sure be <laughs> a golfer. Um, I love golf. Uh-huh. Always have. Um, ever since I was really young, and um, I just think, you know, I love playing golf. And if I could do it for a living, then um, that would be something that I would want to do. Um. How much golf do you get? How much golf do you get in now? Uh, we go to the similar simulator here, um, not too often, but usually maybe once every two weeks uh-huh. or once every week. Right. Um, but in the summer, I'll go usually probably three, four times a week. Are you a Top Golf guy at all? I've never been to Top Golf, but I've actually been meaning to go, and um, it looks really cool. So I think I might have to check that out soon. Super fun. They had one in uh, Cincinnati when I lived there. I haven't been to the one here yet, but super fun. I'm a top golfer. I've only I've only been golfing once, uh, oh, really? actually on a golf course. Yeah. <laughs> not much. Not much of a golfer. No, no. I mean, I think if I got into it, I would totally be out there, and I'm super competitive that I'd want to become really good at it. But I'm a yeah. top. I'm a top golfer. I, I just. Hop in there and I try to drive it as far as I can. <laughs> that's that's my game right now. Yeah. Um, um. It's it's hard. Like it takes a lot of focus and um, you know it's a pretty small ball that you have to hit. So. Yeah. Um. If you mentioned that one of the things I've always been impressed about with hockey players is I feel like they're almost the most athletic of all the athletes. All, all the athletes and all the four major sports because of what you guys have to do. It's keeping your, it's keeping your balance. It's the hand-eye coordination. It's, you know, um, it's quick shifts for you guys as opposed to, you know, being out on the field for a long time with baseball players or even like football players. Um, yeah. Just, just talk about all the skills involved to, to be successful in the sport. Yeah, it's a very high-paced sport. Number one, let's go. Um, it's a very high-paced is, is there a mercy rule in this? <laughs> um, I don't think so. You're going to have to live through it all. you um, live through it all. All right, all right. But yeah, go ahead and talk um, about the skills. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's a high, fast-paced game. And, um, you know, the puck is always moving. And um, you kind of got to keep up with the puck. And... You're using your hands, and um, there's guys trying to check you at all times. So um, it takes a lot of a lot out on your body, and um, you got to be in good shape to, to play hockey. No doubt. Um, you mentioned playing golf, and I, I told you before we hopped on, I, I did a little stalking of your gamer profile, and uh, I know. Oh, here we go. I noticed you play a lot of basketball, but you also <laughs> you also play a lot of golf too on there. Yeah. Um, during the summer, we would, uh, me and my roommate, we would play uh, PGA, and 
Um, we were in Columbus working out, so mm. we didn't have much to do in the afternoon, so we'd always play probably around. It would take, like, usually the, the time of, oh, another one. <laughs> Mato, let's go. Of course. It would take, like, two or three hours to finish a round, so that, that would take up some time. Or, right. Um, we would go to the actual golf course, which um, was really fun. Yeah. You got the Monsters connection there. Mateo with the gold gurby with the with the assist. Yeah. There's a <laughs> lot of Monsters players that are up right now, actually, in the um, Columbus lineup. So yeah. good to see they're having success. Yeah. Oh. So, but um, you mentioned your... your uh, you're a big NBA 2K guy. I noticed yeah. you play a bunch of that. So yeah, huge NBA guy. You had a favorite team? Uh, Raptors for sure. I'm a Canadian kid, so um, champions last year. Shout out. <laughs> um, but yeah, Raptors for sure all the way. You know, Cleveland fans would say the only reason why the Raptors won it is because LeBron's no longer in Cleveland. They had the worst luck versus Cleveland when they, when uh, they were trying to make those early runs. Seriously? Oh, that was get Lundquist that was a there. that was a weak goal yeah, given up Lundquist by Lundqvist there. Get out of there. Oh. Um. Sorry, what were we talking about again? NBA? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I was saying. I was I saying. Fire, fi I get fired up when I score. So. <laughs> 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 Nothing wrong with that. You're only gonna have like six more goals in this one. I don't. Know. <laughs> I might have to start taking it a little bit easy. <laughs> no, oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's fine. The result doesn't matter, right? I'm super competitive. It does. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So NBA Raptors. Um, and then I love 2K. Just always have ever mm -hmm. since it, um, you know, was starting to be made. I think. Uh, ever since the first first couple, I think I, I was playing them. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I think ever the evolution of them is just so much greater than um, any other game, and they continue to evolutionize it. And, right. Um, I think the way that they're using the face ID and um, you know just incorporating better better shots by guys. Oh, that was close. Um, like better shooting techniques and stuff like that. Right, it's just right. um, advancing the game more, and I really like that compared to other games. Yeah, I think, so, the realism in, oh my goodness, the realism in uh, FIFA is on point, and even, and even the hockey game too, I think. Um, yeah. It's, it's just amazing where video games has kind of evolved. Um but even thinking back to, like, NHL games, I think, have always been the most realistic. Like, I think one of my favorites growing up might have been, like, NHL 94, which is probably dating me. And I don't yeah, even know if you've even played cool. NHL 94. <laughs> you're you're I, I, probably uh, born in 94. Um, no, I'm born in 99. <laughs> that's, that's way before I was even born. <laughs> but, uh... I've played 94. I th you can still use the 94. Oh! Ugh. Come on. You can still use the, the 94 uh, controls in this game, too. Actually. Yeah, yes. Yeah, that's the biggest knock, I think. A lot of people don't like the all the stick control in this game now, but... Yeah. I mean, like, you can control your defensive stick now, too, and stuff. It's taken off crazy. crazy yeah. Amount. Uh, I'll take it. Oh, he calls a penalty shot on that. All right. Try what to get on. <laughs> try to get on the board here. <clears throat> what? Oh, I had him. Ugh. Pain in the butt. <clears throat> penalty shots are hard. I don't like penalty shots. I like power plays. Yeah. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And makes the save. Big save. Alright. So, so last night you guys are coming off of a loss, a 4-3 loss in overtime. Um, yeah. You guys have been in so many overtime games. 
this year. <laughs> Are you guys aware of that? Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't really keep count during the year, but um, we know that we've been pushing a lot of games and getting a lot of extra mm. points out of games, which mm. is huge for us right now. And um, you know, our division's so tight; we're we're battling for a playoff spot, so. Um, every point that we can get and every point we can squeeze out of a game, that's huge for us. Yeah. Let's oh. just put that in for you. Yeah, I think so. I think you added, added it in. Yeah, look, we want to we wanna be in the playoffs. We want to make a playoff push. Um, so, yeah, every point's, every point's huge for us. <clears throat> Truba. This is embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing um so the way the ahl playoffs works is you've got to be top four in your division um yeah. right now you guys are sitting in last place but you're only like six points out of that four spot um just talk about what you guys's focus is right now and just some uh, some of the conversations cool. you guys are having to to, to get back and, and make a push for that playoff yeah, um, obviously last year the team was out of the playoffs with about 20 games remaining, and um, they ended up making it uh, the very last game of the year. So we know that we're never counted out. Mm. Um, we know that every game is is huge for us, and every point that we can get out of a game is, is going to be very important. And um, everybody in the room knows that too. No matter who comes into the dressing room, we have to play a certain way, and um, the way we know how to play is a way that's going to help us succeed. So... Um, yeah, just sticking to our game plan, no mm -hmm. matter who comes into our dressing room. That's the biggest thing. All right. <clears throat> All right, we're going to have to make some uh, some adjustments here between periods. We need to come, right, out. We need to come out a little stronger in the, in the second period. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe you get Lundqvist out of the net. <laughs> oh, Felino with four apples, though. Uh, unbelievable. Um, in terms of, I like to ask everybody who comes on, do you have, what's the biggest name in your cell phone? Biggest name in my cell phone. Yeah. Um, this this is your opportunity to name drop if you've got if you've got one. <laughs> I don't even think I have anyone. Mm -hmm. I'm not cool enough yet. <laughs> All right, along along the same lines, then, if uh, give me one athlete alive that you would like to meet any sport, who would it be and why? Tiger Woods. Why is that? Um, I just think, um, the kind of golf player that he was, and, uh -huh. um, obviously, you know, there was some other stuff along the way that was kind of not great, but you see now that he's come a long way since that, and, um, he's battled back. Oh, turnover. That was a terrible turnover. turnover. Yeah. <clears throat> um, he's battled back to get himself to the top of his game again, and I think, um, that's something that's super important for everyone to look at in life. Mm. It's, um, you know, stuff can happen, but you just have to um, believe in yourself and keep pushing forward. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, he was at the top of the game for so long, top of the sport for so long, and then well, he was just dominant. Like he would just dominate. He would win tournaments by twenty-two strokes sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and then like essentially disappeared for years and and then obviously has has made a, a nice little comeback and i think you know that's one of those things you know they always talk about the sport of golf needed but i think in all honesty it really is i mean in terms of he's done such a good job in getting the younger generation you know interested in the game of golf yeah and um yeah i think just what he's done for the game. Obviously, he has his own tournament now. Mm -hmm. and I think um, he might have a foundation even um, that he does stuff right. with. So um, he's doing a lot for people, and 
Oh, huge hit. Monster hit. How are you not hurt? <laughs> Scrambly right now. Oh, turn over. Goal. Oh, safe. Goal. Goal. Kicked in. It's, I think that's the second goal you put in on yourself. This is ridiculous. This is terrible. Um, <laughs> uh, um, outside, outside of athletes, then. I, I might have to come over to MLB. <laughs> that would be that would be a much better game, for I sure. So. I think so. <laughs> I spend way too much time playing MLB for the entire year. I looked it up the other day. I played like the Diamond Dynasty mode, like 500 yeah. hours worth of Diamond Dynasty oh gameplay. <laughs> so That's awesome. yeah. <laughs> really? Where was that going? That's one of those shots where you're like, are you a pro? Like, you just, yeah. <laughs> just whiffed on it. There we go. <clears throat> so, uh, so how do you, how do you like Cleveland so far? Yeah, Cleveland's been great. Um, live downtown, so kind of um, just do everything down around here. I haven't seen too much, but um, been golfing out here a couple times. Uh -huh. um, the city just has a great vibe to it, and I, I've really loved it so far. Yeah, see, one of the things, I'm from New York originally, and Cleveland definitely gives you that big city feel, you know, without yeah. being in, like, a huge city. Yeah. Um, and that's one of my favorite things about it, for sure. There's so much things to do, so many places to eat, things like that. It's great. Another one. Uh, terrible. Nudie. This reminds yeah. me... Go ahead. I think you might have two or three tonight. <laughs> <laughs> D-Man. This, uh, this reminds me of... Uh, I don't know if you've ever been to a Predators game or seen them on TV or anything like that. But yeah. So whenever that... You know how everybody scores, they have their, their goal song that they play. And the Monsters even yeah. have one. Um, they play a country music song every time they yeah. score. I went to a Rangers-Predators game... Uh, a couple years ago and they dropped like five goals on the rangers that night and i was sick and tired of that song the country That's, song yes this is the same feeling i have right now with you putting up a tent oh he just put it in his own net yep. again yep yep that's what happened <laughs> putting up an 11 <laughs> spot in the second you know what's gonna happen is i'm not gonna be able to play this segment anymore they're gonna they're gonna take. <laughs> they're, they're gonna take it. They're gonna take it away from me. <laughs> they're like, wow. <clears throat> uh, so out. So outside of athlete, if you could meet one person in general and and go to dinner with them, who would it be and why? You gave me Tiger as an athlete. Do you have someone non-athlete? Uh, I say that because I forget who the last person I talked to was. They told me uh, Justin Bieber. So 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 who's yeah, yours? I feel, I feel like a lot of people say Justin Bieber. But, um, mine would be Emily Ratajkowski. Really? Oh yeah, in love with her. Oh, model slash actress Emily Ratajkowski. The last time, uh -huh. so I was a big fan of uh, the show Entourage. So I remember her from that. Yeah. I don't know if she's been in anything since then, but I think she was in the movie too, wasn't she? Uh, yeah, she was in the movie. <clears throat> um, oh, good to see you. <sighs> but yeah, I, I love her. See, you just gotta... So I, I would choose her. You just gotta, <laughs> you just gotta make it happen now. Yeah, I just gotta shoot my shot. <laughs> hey, you never know. Never know. <clears throat> oh, man. Mine along the same lines. Uh, that was a great pass. It just wasn't there. Uh, Olivia Munn. I'm a big fan of Olivia Munn. I don't uh, know if you know who she is. I think I know who she is, yeah. Dark hair. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Uh, she was in uh, one of my favorite shows of all time, The Newsroom. She was in a bunch of other stuff, too, but um, I guess she was in Ride Along. I just saw that on TV the other day, and I was like, yeah, I didn't even yeah. know she was in <laughs> She was in this movie. Get that stick handle out of here. I, well, I don't know why I just said that. <sighs> Terrible pass. Oh, that should have been in. That should have been in. You put it through the crease. The <sighs> hockey gods are not with you today. <laughs> not at all. Alright. So, with you... <clears throat> Jeez. How old were you, how old were you when you started playing hockey? Uh, well, I started skating when I was two, mm. um, and then hockey, probably whenever yep. I was allowed to, I mean, um, ever since I was really young, I wanted to be a hockey player, so, um, you know, I'm assuming that whenever my dad could get me into hockey, that he, he put me in as soon as he could. Uh, -huh. do you have a, a favorite player growing up? Uh, yeah, my favorite player growing up would definitely be Sidney Crosby. Um, I just got to watch him a lot, and they had a, a lot of great runs in Pittsburgh in the playoffs, and um, obviously you love watching NHL playoff hockey, so right. saw a lot of saw a lot of them and kind of fell in love with Crosby, and now um, being from Edmonton, Edmonton getting McDavid, mm -hmm. and um, me, me playing junior in Edmonton, I got to see him a lot, and um, pick up little things from him get from his game and right. Um, you know, it's a guy you can learn a lot from, and even even if you don't know him or even if you're not on the same team from him, just watching him and mm -hmm. um, watching the little stick stick movements he makes or um, you know the the skating plays. Right. Um, that's a lot you can learn from. So I was um, someone that I watched in the recent years that I really liked as well. Um, do you have anybody, you know, coming up through the system that, that kind of took you under their wing, someone that you've learned from? I think just everyone down here. Um, you know, we've had a lot of turnover, obviously, with guys. Oh, penalty. That was not true. Seriously? Oh, chipping. We've had a lot of guys go up and down with um, the injuries and stuff like that. So um, mm -hmm. there hasn't been um, a single guy that's kind of take me under the, their wing it's just been all of them uh right. just a collective just making me feel at home and uh, making me feel comfortable in my first year of pro mm. i don't know how that was tripping i went down the to block the shot and you just tripped over my stick <laughs> oh offside and i have my own player Jeez. <laughs> um, <clears throat> in terms of in terms of guys on the roster, um, you mentioned your your roommates with Derek Barash, but uh, yeah, is there is is he the guy you've kind of gravitated to the most, or, or who do you who do you think you get along with the most? Um, when when Andrew peaks down here, I I hang out with him quite a bit, and uh -huh. um. Marco Dano is a guy I hang out with a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Glenn Denning. Um, and then it's just usually the guys that live downtown. Um, you know, the guys with families live out in Crocker Park. Right. Um, so they're a little bit farther away. So the guys downtown are usually the, all the single guys and um, you know, get together and do stuff. Nice. Um... <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> I've got I've got a couple guys <laughs> I've got a couple guys I'm supposed to be playing next week as well uh, from the squad, so I better uh, up my game. Gotta start practicing. <laughs> maybe maybe they're just not as good as me. Who knows? I gotta stop playing the division in MLB all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> There's another turnover. Oh, breakaway. Uh, Tweener. 
going to deke and then he was going to shoot and then he didn't either. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that analysis. Yeah, <laughs> that won't be on his highlight reel. Oh. Um, what do you think when you were learning the game of hockey, what do you think was the hardest thing for you to grasp? And, and what are some of the things you still work on? Um, I mean, I think everything you got to work on, I mean, I think something you got to work on every day is obviously you're skating and, um, the game's getting a lot faster. Hmm. Um, the players are getting a lot faster, so you got to be able to keep up and, um, you know, get to the corners corners quicker, um, get to loose pucks quicker so you can possess the puck longer. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, I think just that's something I've always worked on is skating. And um, obviously, I think every aspect of the game is something you have to work on every day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's no, no one thing that that someone can do perfect, so um, there's always areas to to improve. Let's, let's get this out of here. <laughs> By the way, did you see the random line change just now while you were in the zone? What was that about? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> like, what are they doing? <clears throat> Trip. So one of the things you know that 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 some fans gravitate to with hockey is is just how physical uh, things yeah. can be, and obviously one thing that's still that's still in the game and obviously is still legal. I mean, you get you get five minutes for it, but but fighting. Uh, how often have you been involved in a fight? Uh, in junior, I was in seven fights, but <laughs> zero this year. So um, I, I I play a little bit of a feistier game, and some guys don't like that. So uh -huh. um, if the opportunity ever presents itself, I won't say no, but I'm not a guy that will really go out looking for anything. Right. Seriously? I think <clears throat> I got a penalty. Yeah. Darn. There's a there's a movie on Netflix about hockey enforcers and and how uh, they basically don't exist anymore. I haven't seen it. I need to, but uh, it, it looks yes. Have you seen it? Yeah, it's a really good. Uh, I've been wanting to watch it for a while. One of the guys that's in the movie is on our team, Brett Gallant. Uh huh. Yeah, he's uh he's in that movie and um, he's on our team now. So, oh, see, I'm, I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna have to check it out now. I'm watching it tonight. Yeah, no, it's really good. <clears throat> ah, terrible. Oh, that almost went in. <laughs> All right, so this is a good learning experience not to do ten minutes because. I'm getting my I butt kicked. A lot of goals. <laughs> <laughs> hey, any way I can try to skew the rules to help me out, I'll take it. Yeah. <clears throat> Terrible pass. Sweet. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> so talk about talk about your style of, of game. You, you know, you talked about being a little bit feistier on the ice uh, compared to others, but how, how would you describe your game out there? Yeah, um, obviously I'm a little bit of an under, undersized forward at 5'7", so mm -hmm. um, i got to be quick and um, play a fast game and um, use my body to my advantage, get, get the pucks quicker, get underneath guys, and, um, you know, you, use my skills to my advantage I, I i believe i have good vision on the ice and mm -hmm. i'm a good shot so I'll just try to use that to my advantage as much as i can and um improve every day as much as i can gotcha yeah i uh 
mentioned to you I played I played hockey up in New Hampshire for New Hampton Prep a high school a prep school up there um, but when I was there I had a there was a defenseman by the name of Ryan Locke who went there probably the best defenseman I've ever seen in person um, outside of the NHL um, but he was like five 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 six and that just wasn't yeah. gonna that just wasn't gonna work at the next level you know but um, especially back then it's changed a lot now yeah um, you can see a lot of the smaller, undersized guys are having success in the NHL. Right. Thanks for making me sound old, by the way, especially back then. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yes. It's a different time. I mean. Oh, for sure. For sure. Even <clears throat> over the last, I would say, probably two or three years, it's changed drastically. Mm. New York's got the puck inside the defense. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, does he go in? Seriously, we can't get one? That's all I want now at this point. In the next period, one goal. Oh, good save, save. Good save. Big <clears throat> save. That was a huge save. <laughs> oh, man. To keep it to 12. Yeah. Yep. Hey, I have a question for you, but you may or may not be able to answer this. I need I need a goalie. So, like I, like I mentioned, I was a goalie, but I was also a baseball player, right? And yeah. I was actually discussing this the other day. So, as a baseball player, I'm right-handed. So, my glove hand is my left hand. But playing goalie, yeah. I learned that I also needed to learn how to pass with my left, which is not natural. Do you know if most goalies switch it up? Do you know what I'm saying? So as a right, so as a righty, so as a righty, if you throw with your right, you shoot with your right on your right side, no, typically. No, they just learn how to shoot with their left sticks. Yeah, I mean that's what I had to do, but I was yeah, like, do they? Yeah. I was like, do they switch it and like put the glove on their right hand? Like, does that make no. you know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, no. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I was a baseball. I was a baseball guy too. Growing up, I played baseball, golf, mm -hmm. soccer, everything, just all those sports and. Um, I caught with my left hand, but whenever I would play like road hockey goalie, you always catch with your left hand and shoot with the left stick. You just, it's like a, there's a technique to it that the goalies know. And, yeah. Um, you know, it's obviously a lot harder than players, so. Yeah, it was always super awkward for me. I mean, I obviously got used to it, but for playing baseball for so long, like before I started playing hockey, you know? Yeah. Ugh, get one. <clears throat> so, do you see that story? Was it the Carolina Hurricanes who had the who had the Zamboni driver be become the goalie for like yeah, a game or two? That was, yeah, that was in <laughs> Toronto. That's crazy. I think. Uh, I think. Go ahead. But yeah, I saw that, and I saw you played like a period and a half. I was so baffled. <laughs> I think every Toronto. year you. Go ahead, Ted. Toronto couldn't even score on him. Yeah. I know. Well, it wasn't the first two shots like he gave up the first two yeah. shots and then <laughs> and then he saved everyone after that. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, come on. They can't get anything. <clears throat> Bad pass there. Oh, good knockdown. Oh, save. Good save. Check. Ugh. Oh. Back 
gonna stick now. Here's a short pass to Di Giuseppe. And he comes up no one in position. <clears throat> bad pass there. Officials blow the whistle. We got icing on the ball. And nothing too smooth about that play. You play uh, be a pro MLB? What's that? Ever? Do you play be a pro on MLB ever? Uh oh, you mean road to the show? Yeah, road to the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I used to play. I used to play that more than any of the game modes until this past year. I play like five seasons. I'm like five seasons deep on that one. Really? Yeah. Yep. I, uh. uh I used to play quite a bit in the summer, mm. um, but eventually it's just, I kind of got sick of it. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, get that out of here. The, the, other new game. the other game modes are better, I think. This yeah, the, the, the Diamond Dynasty, Diamond the, Dynasty yeah. the build your own team, I, the saucer passes are just not accurate oh, at all. Oh, he's hurting. That guy's hurting. <clears throat> What was that? <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> I can't get one. I just want one in. <laughs> My goal is to not let you get one. <laughs> <laughs> Becky on Facebook says neither one of us are good trash talkers. It's kind of it's kind of hard to talk trash now at this point. <laughs> I, I can't say anything at least. <laughs> Oh, bad pass. So, you guys, um, earlier this year had uh, a throwback night where you, you yeah, went old school. What you, would you think of those unis? Unbelievable. I, love them. <laughs> I, think we should, I think we should go to them full time. The powder blue is a cool look. I like that one. Yeah, they were really cool. And I believe you guys were 2-0 and wearing those too, so... There might be some yeah. if you're if you're superstitious, you might need to uh, to bring those back. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed. <laughs> I think they're the nicest jerseys we have. <laughs> oh, don't let the don't let the equipment people hear you say that. Oh, I've told them. <laughs> So have you always, did you always grow up being a winger? Did you, did you try multiple positions? Uh, no, I was always a winger. Um, played center for, like I've played center before, but uh. only if I've, only if I've had to. Right. I've always liked, liked playing wing. What's the difference for you? Um, I think you just get to use your speed a little bit more as a winger. Mm -hmm. Um. And then obviously being an undersized guy, um, as a centerman, you gotta be able to um, win like puck battles in your own zone down low right, right, and stuff like that. And, um, I just found um, as an undersized player, being a winger would be probably better for me, and so mm. that's what I did. He needs to start a fight or something. I'll, maybe I'll win that. Seriously. Oh, Seriously. <laughs> Corpy's on fire. Is this not in the cards for me tonight? No. Nope. Hockey God don't want you to win. Oh, another post. one, Corpy. Or did you hit post? I hit the post. Oh. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, baby. <laughs> Can't leave it on number 14 or number 13 also. Yeah. Becky says, Becky says talking trash is part of the fun. Problem is, Becky, when I'm down 13 nothing, I don't really have anything to, I don't really have anything to trash talk about. <laughs> I just, oh, he just rocked that dude. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say either. Maybe I'm just hot today. <laughs> so are you? Are you? Go ahead. I don't know if I've ever won thirteen nothing. <laughs> actually, 
That's a lot. Me and uh, me and Barry, my roommate, we have uh, some games, and so they get pretty high, like sixteen yeah. to twelve and stuff yeah. like that. So. <clears throat> are you are you offense, baby. <laughs> are you a trash talker on the ice at all? Um, I don't go after it, but if something <laughs> happens where I'll have to say something, or I guess I want to say something, then I will. Right. Um. But usually, if someone tries to say something to me, I'll try and change it on the screen. Put it in. Jeez. Oh, number one. I can at least say I didn't get shut out. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I would rather just prove on the scoreboard or show um, what I can do with a goal or an assist or a big hit or something like that rather than trash talking <laughs> yeah i wasn't uh in the, all the sports i played i was not a trash talker at all i just like to stay cool cool and calm i, I guess there was one yeah. year though my senior year in high school i was playing football played defensive end and uh for some reason i was feeling myself that day and decided to talk talk some trash and i remember the first play of the game the fullback lit me up like bloody nose and everything, and I was like, "That's that's what I get. That's what I get for talking." <laughs> oh, bad pass! Ah, oh, you whiffed on that. I'm working on my comeback right now. Mm -hmm. Post. It's working. <laughs> Close. I think that was your comeback right there. Yeah. So, I uh, always like to know this in terms of like the realism in this game. Does it compare at all to to what you guys see on the ice? <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Um, the systems in this game uh. compared to how you play in real life are definitely the same. And, uh, you can make stick handling moves that are just like in real life. And, right. Um, I think that's pretty pretty cool that they've been able to do that. Um, <laughs> do those guys like uh, Mateau and Gerby, whatever, they ever talk to you about their, their rating in NHL? Has that ever been brought up? No, no one's ever talked about it. Actually, we used to talk about it quite a bit in junior. Uh -huh. um, about who had the higher... Oh, Mato. Uh, speaking of the um, devil. Yeah, who would who would have the highest uh, overall in NHL? Uh -huh. So you know, it's chirp whoever had the lowest one or whatever. But it's kind of <laughs> kind of stupid, but fun. Right, right. Oh, just young kids. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No. Nothing wrong with that. You ever? Uh, you, <laughs> you ever think about trying to, to get in the crease and, and stopping some shots? Obviously not in real game, but just playing around I and seeing what that's think, like. Yeah, like I always enjoyed playing goalie as uh, like a road hockey goalie. Uh huh. Um, so I I always wanted to get on the ice, but I I don't think I would be able to go like goalie skates and that stuff. Like, it's right. So much different. Yeah. You just juked like five guys to get in to, to get in front of the net there. Uh, off the post too. Popular icing call made, and you know what that means, Ray. Vinny McGee says go monsters. <laughs> go monsters. <laughs> so you, you guys have tons of different promotional things throughout the course of the year. What's do you have a favorite one this year? Um, this year, obviously being my first year, I haven't um, really seen any of the other ones. But I saw we're having a Top Gun night soon. Uh -huh. That that looks pretty cool. Um, <laughs> WWE night looks pretty cool. But I think this year the Lumberjacks night was definitely yeah. Um, the one I enjoyed the most, just the atmosphere in the arena and uh, the jerseys, um, and then the way that we won the game too. I think right. That was that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, 
Come on. Shuts him down. The Rangers have it against the wall. And he's ridden off the puck. No good. Stalls taking it from his own end. Puck scooped up by Polino. Quick feed to Polino. With possession along the wall. This is the example of uh, running out the clock right here. Peeker <laughs> <laughs> oh. doesn't have that hard of a shot in real life. <laughs> this game is rigged. It's a joke. Well, it'd be nice if it was rigged for me today. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I honestly think the hockey gods are just on my side today. Monquist <laughs> wasn't very good. Corpy made some huge saves. I know. <clears throat> what's your uh, what's your workout uh, program like in the off season? What do you do to kind of get in the hockey shape? Um, usually after the hockey season, I'll take. Two weeks off, just mm. get away from the game, um, refresh my mind, reset my mind, kind of, and then um, get back in the gym, usually in the gym every day, um, 9 a.m., and then um, sometimes twice a day, so um, usually later on in the summer, you get to the, the twice-a-day workouts where you'll have a lift and, um, you know, about an hour of turf work right. as well, so, um, yeah, it's... It's it's well worth it, but um, pretty tough at the same time. Yeah, are you traditional <clears throat> like weightlifting, or you do cross training, CrossFit, like any of that stuff? Uh, no, I I work with a hockey specific trainer, so mm. um, you know he knows exactly what to work. Um, yeah, so like a lot, wise to, a lot of plyo to stuff like that too. Yeah, yeah, a lot of plyometrics, um, a lot of band work, a lot of mm. turf work. Um, the hurdles, ladders, um, and then you have your your lifts too, and um, you know it's not too heavy or anything like that, but it's still to, to maximize your potential. So, right, right. Um, been with him for the last probably five years, six years mm -hmm. now. And, um, it's been really good. Very cool, very cool. Well, you kicked my butt in this one. Yeah, uh, maybe we should we should have gone with MLB. I'm a pretty big gamer. I know all the games. <laughs> maybe next time, next time. 14-1, yeah. to 1, that's miserable. But at least 57 shot on goal. That's ridiculous. So look at the time on attack, 9.50 to 3.49. <laughs> oh. So, but uh, Trey, I appreciate it. Um thanks for hopping on it was fun it was not fun getting my butt kicked but it was, <laughs> but, it, but it was fun to have you on fun to to, to kind of get to know you there for a little bit um so thanks again for doing this for sure yeah thank you very much i really appreciate it yeah it's fun I, to be on and um this is a cool segment so hope, hope, it, hope it keeps going Thank you, thank you. Hold on for one second. I'm going to end the stream, though, but I'll catch you right after. So, yeah, that'll do it for uh, Gaming with Derek here on the News 5 Facebook page. Um, again, that was Trey Fitzwilansky of the uh, Cleveland Monsters uh, who was joining me today. Um, next week, we're hoping to get a couple of other monster players in. Uh, we're looking at getting two guys at once, so maybe we'll do some 1v1v1 or something like that. But um, I will see you guys uh, next week.